So hello, g'day, welcome back to Goomaddy's Coins and Banknotes, where we try and find trillion dollar coin, so that's going to make you rich, but if you're going to get the money in the bar with dollars, basically it's going to be worthless in the first place. Okay, so in today's video we're looking at the Australian Halfpenny from 1955, and this is... The lowest minted halfpenny issued in the name of Queen Elizabeth II. So the halfpenny was first minted in Australia in 1911, last minted in 1964, and Queen Elizabeth II had a mintage from 1953 to 1964. Uh, but not every year was minted. So... This is the last year of mintage for three years, so 1956, 1957, 1958. Queen Elizabeth II had no coins issued for circulation. Although there probably are pattern coins or trial strikes that do belong to the Royal Australian Mint. I wouldn't be surprised if they're still there. Uh, you need to go to the Mint Museum to actually find out, but I think that's closed recently so this is a 5.67 gram coin 25.5 millimeters so we're talking about the diameter that way uh, and I just dropped some coins on the floor and it has a mintage of 9,342,000 so it shouldn't be hard to get it's a similar mintage to the 1972 5 cent coin uh, but Obviously, people just don't value it as much as that five cent coin. That's why we have hype. Hype just bumps up things that shouldn't normally get as much value as uh, what the mintage figures would actually uh, say it does. Okay, so this coin was minted in Perth, but there are no mint marks. So you won't find a mint mark after Penny, and you won't find a mint mark after Australia, because sometimes they have the mint mark up here. Uh, and a lot of people are probably mistaken it for a coin minted in Melbourne. We had no mint marks, but basically if it does have a mint mark, it will be a variation, which I don't think any have ever been found. And another curious thing about this coin is the rim. So they had a problem with the rim of this coin. Uh, there's just very much a lot of variation in these actual designs. So we'll take the worst one that we've got. And in the next three years, actually must have either changed the machinery introduced better technologies or maybe better training in which they did radically improve the actual design of the rims so you can see all the fin and fin uh, thick denticles there here you can see some of them but as you can see the problem with the rim and also a lot of the lettering is uh, uh, quite uh, if it's not engraved properly or grease strike or whatever and also if we look on the obverse of the coins at the front you can see the actual denticles there uh, so they had they had a problem on both sides and on the other coin yeah so the beads so these are beads uh, they just had it looks more like denticles. Yeah, so they just had a problem with uh, minting these coins. So maybe they stopped minting these for a while so they can actually improve the quality of the coin. Uh, but I reckon that these have a lot more character than later coins. So this is 1960. It doesn't have as much character. Although I quite like that. And... What would you be paying for one of these coins? So, for a coin 
very fine and below you're probably paying a dollar i'd say very good fine coins pretty much just scrap metal uh extremely fine about three dollars this coin here it's probably fine coin i'd say put it in fine condition uh how about that one that's in fine so these are all like great coins that i've got here which are less than a dollar but an uncirculated coin you're probably paying probably about 10 to 20 dollars so not really hard to get gem uncirculated so that should be ms65 to 70 if there's any actually graded at 70 uh, you're probably paying about a hundred dollars for it okay so what are the areas you're going to find so apart from die cracks uh lamination floors cuds oh what else uh clip planchets ram strokes off centers stuff like that which occurs pretty much on coins in every year uh, there is one where we have a five leaning towards the left so in the this is 19 54 we had an error in which the four was leaning towards the right this year we have an error in which the first five is leaning towards the left so and also in some years you can get a low a up here maybe check for that uh that one doesn't look like a low a so that's the only unique error that i can find on these coins and also you can uh, get doubling and this one itself is an error anyway we have a lamination problem going around here causes the lettering to be thin lettering's okay so we also have a problem with the beads going around but that's pretty common doesn't add any value as well as the rim here but this rim is a well the bead denticles here is okay we have weakness in Australia that seems to be common. But I don't see any other errors on this coin. Uh, if we look at this one. Yeah, same thing. Weakness in the lettering. Doesn't seem to be that well circulated. And this five does look a bit leaning towards the actual left. So, but maybe the actual, I see that it's common on all the coins. And we have a weakness in the, in the actual metal itself. Looks like we have some moulding. So, this is pretty much, uh, does that look like it's ghosty? So, yeah, that does look like it's ghosting. So, that's a. Uh, Pretty much the actual coin being molded. <sighs> then we have this coin. Nah. All the first five. So this first five looks pretty much upright. This one looks like it's leaning towards the left. So it's a bit hard to tell. They look pretty much the same. Uh, this one is weak lettering again. Obviously, it's quite common on this year. We have a problem with the lamination at the top of the actual coin. This side, no, also weakness in the lettering. Uh, it has been circulated a bit, but there's not enough damage to account for the actual lettering being uh, quite weak, as you can see. So that's probably... Could, this could be a pressure problem. So not enough pressure on the actual coin. And oh, this one is better lettering. We do have a lamination at the top. So in Regina. So it's a lamination problem going there. And you can tell it is a lamination because the lettering uh, actually goes through it. And it's not been scratched off so it's not a scratch mark. And here, yeah, this is probably, I would say, fine condition. 
And on this side, you know, we also have a problem with the actual rim. So that I'm not too sure what causes that. Could be the engraving. Could also be too much, too much pressure on the strike. Looks like we have a dot there. So that would make this an error coin. But it's a bit yeah, it looks like a uh, a small cut a dot. So this one I'll probably put in uh, the actual coin album. So I hope this helps you with your half penny coins. Lowest mintage of Queen Elizabeth the second, but it is not a hard coin to get. You should be able to get quite a few in you know if you get a, a whole bulk lot of coins one kilo or whatever you should get one of these in those anyway thank you very much and have an awesome coin and banknote collecting time thank you and goodbye